quick video this week on punch biopsy for a skin lesion. This patient had a plantar lesion on the foot for very many years and recently had changed in size and diameter. So I'm therefore duty bound to do some form of testing to make sure that it's nothing uh, malignant or anything cheeky. So we do a small punch biopsy. This is how they come, pack of punches and of course we do it under a small local anaesthesia. Regular viewers will know that I'm a genuine fan of Wikipedia and here's a picture taken from their skin biopsy page with a link below. First thing we're going to do, let's give you a little bit of a clean. Is that tickling? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. In terms of anaesthesia, here's our lesion here. So we're not going to take all of this out, obviously, we're just going to do a punch biopsy. So we've got the option of doing a small field infiltration or doing a tibial nerve block here. But for this particular lady, because we're going to do just a small procedure, we'll just do a small infiltration of local anaesthesia. One of the times I like to use, that's a nice 27 gauge needle, nice little whippy blade. So. Um, there's going to be a little scratch. Three, two, one. That wasn't too bad, was it? That's all right. Okay. And then just a little sting as that goes in. How's that feeling, Lise? Stingy. Stingy. Scale of 0 to 10. <laughs> how, how painful is that? It's got better. About six. About six, okay. And then we'll take that out, take that out, and we'll get rid of this. Here's our punch biopsy. They come in two sizes. And you know what the two sizes are, Lisa? Small and large. Two, very close. <laughs> too big and too small. Very good. <laughs> very close. This is a three mil punch. And we're just going to take a little sample. We don't want to take the edge. We want to take all the lesion. And it's just a bit of a twisty motion till we through the skin. And that's our lesion there. Sometimes they just need a little bit of persuasion, as in that case. So there's our lesion there. A little bit of claret. And a dressing we're done. And that's it, Lisa. So we send that away. Awesome. That's probably going to come back as a Veruca. But we just, I just want to check that it's not doing anything it shouldn't. Okay. I don't for a minute think it does, but I'm a fusser. Little tiny bandage on, and that's us done. And I'm just going to put a bit more dressing on that. That's it done. Thank you, Chuck. So, really, really dead, dead, dead easy, just in case of making you up. So they do this a lot in the States, and I, I spent a lot of time in America and so I've kind of been taught to do punch biopsies a lot. It's just really useful, just to have, it's the only way to really know what something is. That's it, yeah. Right, have you got a spare hand there, Lisa? Have. You're a smasher. Uh, be a bit sore, there you go, because you've just got a little tiny hole underneath that. Foot, yeah. But, you know, they soon heal up, and then we can just, just double double check with this. Awesome, put that there, got it, got it, got it. And then what I'll do is I'll stop that video. Just gonna... Bit of an overkill for a dressing, but there is a chance they'll bleed. So a, a bigger dressing is better than a smaller one. Here's the sample, really quite small. Comes out of the punch, goes off into a pot then to histopathology. Here's the pot. And of course, we absolutely make sure that we check for the results in about a week or 10 days time.